hello everyone create Venus here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and this time we are creating this beautiful presentation slide and you can use this slide as your cover slide or some kind of reference slide so let's start first of all select the curve shape and start drawing the curve on the slide as you can see on your screen right now so it is very easy to create this curve shape uh, just click on regular intervals to get the curve and uh, you have to join the starting end point and you'll get a shape like this it looks like a potato to me right now well let's remove the uh, unwanted portion and we are left with this shape so we will use this shape to create this magical slide design uh, you have duplicated now you have duplicated this shape and slightly increase its size and send to back now you have a shape like this so one small shape and one slightly larger shape behind this blue shape now what we'll do is we will insert a picture in this in this shape so, um, so I'm gonna select I'm gonna use the shape this picture it is slightly stretched at the moment so I'll adjust the offset value for the top and as you can see on a screen right now the image is looking perfectly fine and we will send it to back now let's fill the gradient color in this shape and i've already downloaded a gradient image so we will use gradient colors from the shape so in office 365 we have this option of using eyedropper and it is very convenient to use eyedropper to fill colors let's change the direction of the gradient and increase the transparency on both gradient stops so you can experiment here and try to adjust transparency as per your choice also you can move the gradient stops left to right to get the best output so i guess it is looking perfectly fine now and what we will do is let's create a border here so we have duplicated this gradient and now we have three layers one with the image then we have gradient shape and now we have another gradient shape and for this third gradient shape we will only use its border and we will remove its fill so and we will apply the gradient border here and we will use the same uh, gradient color which we have used in the existing gradient shape so now you can see we have this gradient border here gradient line now it's the time to add some text here so you know how to add text here insert text box and write some text then you can do some formatting apply some fonts it's totally up to you so i prefer open sans font it is free font and it is available in google fonts you can directly download it from there and I will prefer white color here so it is pretty easy stuff so let's skip to next step here let's insert a donut shape here just to make it more creative so here you can add a donut shape Re uh, let's reduce its size and its width as well and remove its outline 
let's keep it very light so now it is it is looking much more uh, beautiful and let's place it somewhere around here and reduce it, its width so i'm just keep on changing its position until i'm satisfied so next step is insert a description here about your presentation so i'm using dummy text here now we will select this dummy text and we will change its font to open sans reduce its size make it center aligned and reduce i mean change its color font color now let's reduce the size of donut shape and duplicate it and move it to the right and increase its size and also we will increase its transparency now let's insert a call out here so we will create a call out we will use a rounded rectangle shape and increase its roundness by dragging this yellow point yellow dot remove its outline fill gradient color the same that is present on the shape above increase or oh, apply a shadow effect here and increase its blurness you can adjust these options to get the best output so we have this shape ready and let's apply shadow color so instead of black red let's use red as a shadow color so we will add some text here let's write learn more explore anything you want and you can hyperlink it so we've changed the text to uppercase increase its font and increase the character spacing align its center so our slide is ready here so i hope you find this slide interesting and you like this design uh, you can support us by joining the membership of our channel uh, and you can also click on subscribe and like button you can also share views in the comment section below so thank you for being with us and watching this tutorial so thank you everyone have a nice day